Homework exercise 1.21. This is the final exercise in addition and subtraction of algebraic fractions. It brings in more the changing of sign as we had in the simplification of fractions and also factorizing of denominators. It's neat and it's useful to avoid complications and always having x first and then the number or x squared then x and then the number. So here x and 3 that's correct. This is not good because this is 3 then x. We need to change it around. But instead of having negative x plus 3 we write this as the negative and then the brackets x minus 3 like that. Because that's exactly what's happened. I've put a negative outside brackets and then I've changed the signs of the two terms here. Negative x, it's still negative x in either case, and that's plus 3. Well, here it's plus 3, 2. If you take away the brackets, the two negatives will give you a plus. x plus 3 is fine. 3 plus x isn't, but we've established the fact that x plus 3 and 3 plus x are exactly the same. Have you looked at the next one here? x minus 3 is fine, but 9 minus x squared is not okay. We need the x squared first, and the x squared is negative there. So we're going to take out a negative and make that x squared, and this becomes negative 9. If we took this bracket away, again, we'd still have negative x squared. We'd still have positive 9. So this still has the same value, but as with the x, then the number, we now have x squared and the number. x minus 4 is fine, x number. This one is fine, x squared, x number. This one is fine, x squared, x number. This one is not okay because it has number, then x. But as with b, 5 plus x is exactly the same as x plus 5, so we can just switch them around. In f, 4 minus x is not okay. x squared minus 4x is fine, so we need to do that sign change here. And because of the negative, we have to put a negative outside, x minus 4. So we've changed from 4 minus x to x minus 4 and put a negative outside. Once again, if we took away the brackets, negative x would remain. And we'd have negative negative, which is plus 4, which is what that is. In G, 6x plus 6 is the right order and 6x is fine. So, let's start with A. Because we have, if we have A over negative B, that's exactly the same as negative of A over B. We've established that before. So instead of having 2 over the negative of x minus 3, like A over negative B, we rather put that negative and there and change the sign so we just have x minus 3 below in the fraction so it becomes like that so instead of having that we convert it to have that notice instead of plus 2 over and then a negative we'll change that to minus and we could drop the negative there Now, our common denominator is quite simple because they're both the same factor. Two terms, two terms, one factor, x minus 3, x minus 3. So therefore, our lowest common denominator, x minus 3. Neither has gained anything, so therefore, x over x minus 3 minus 2 over x minus 3. And that's it. The next one, simple change. 3 plus x becomes x plus 3. Common denominator, x plus 3. Now, that being the case, nothing changes because they both have x plus 3, so therefore x minus 2. This is the case where we cannot work with 9 minus x squared. The x squared must be first, so we said change it to the negative of x squared minus 9. Once again, what we've done is, instead of keeping the negative underneath of the fraction, we've taken it up to there, 
So it's a negative there, and we have the x squared minus 9 below. Now, in this case, we need to factorize. If we have x minus 3 and then x squared minus 9 in our lowest common denominator, it's going to be too much. Because if we factorize that difference of squares, x minus 3, x plus 3, we'll, say there's, we'll see there's an x minus 3 there and there's an x minus 3 there. In the LCD, we only need that x minus 3 once and the x plus 3 once. Putting brackets around that because of the negative, and this is quite important in this case. So there's our lowest common denominator, x minus 3, x plus 3. There it is. That one is accounted for by that denominator. So putting them both over it, there's the 2x. Now what has that denominator gained to become that? It's gained x plus 3. This denominator has gained nothing to become that, so that stays as it is. Now this is where it's important. There's the negative and the brackets, because this sign is going to change. So multiplying out and changing that sign, there we are, and we simplify to there. And that's our final answer. D. No worry about changing the order, x number, x squared, x number, so it's fine. We need to factorize this quadratic trinomial here. It's x plus 1, x minus 4. Now, our lowest common denominator, we have to have that factor, two terms, one factor, and we have to have that factor, we have to have that factor. We don't have to repeat the factor, so we have a common denominator of x plus 1, x minus 4. That caters for that x minus 4. Putting over x plus 1, x minus 4, we say, well, that x minus 1, x minus 4, has gained to be put as that. What's it gained? Well, it's gained the x plus 1. So it's got to gain an x plus 1 on top, giving two x plus 1s multiplying together. This fraction, there's the denominator, and it's exactly the same thing there. So it's just the minus 3 on that side. Multiplying out, we'd end up with three terms when multiplying those two binomials. And simplify, and there is our final answer. In this case, we have x squared x, no x, x squared x number, so that's fine. Here we have 5 and then x, no, number x is not good, so we change it to x plus 5. But we don't do anything about signs because x plus 5 and 5 plus, plus x are exactly the same. We factorize that now because it's a quadratic trinomial. We factorize 2x plus 1, x plus 5. And there's, there's a factor, a factor, and that's a factor being two terms. So we have 2x plus 1, x plus 5, and x plus 5 again. So our common denominator is going to be 2x plus 1 and x plus 5. Putting over 2x plus 1 and x plus 5, that x goes to there. It's over the denominator that we have anyway, so it gains nothing. This 5 is over x plus 5, but there's the x plus 5. But by writing it like this, that 5 is now over that denominator from there. So it's gained a 2x plus 1. So we must have a 2x plus 1 on top. Multiplying out and simplifying and there's the final answer. F. Here we are. We have number and then x. No good. We need x number. But because this has a negative x there, we've had to put the negative outside the bracket and change to x minus 4. If we took away the brackets, that's still negative x. If we take away the brackets, that's still negative negative. It's still plus 4. And that needs factorizing. And this needs brackets. That could be factorized, but we don't have to factorize the top line at all.
So there we are. Notice that that negative now belongs to the whole fraction rather than just underneath. Negative 2x minus 24 over x, x plus 4. Now, this is where we have to be careful. Minus and then this fraction. LCD, x, x minus 4. There's an x minus 4. There's x minus 4. So that's fine. But we must bracket that there when we go to the next line. Now on the next line, this is x, x minus 4, but that was only x minus 4. So this fraction has gained an x below, so it must gain an x above. This one here, x, x minus 4, x, x minus 4, so it's gained nothing. So therefore it stays exactly the same, and this is where these brackets are very necessary. Next line you'll notice negative negative has changed to a positive. Now in this case, this actually is going to go further. So what we need to do is take out the negative to there. Now this can factorize. Now it's only worth factorizing it if it's a worthwhile step that's going to help. But in fact it will, because if I factorize this quadratic trinomial, we have x minus 4, x minus 4. Those can now cancel. There are two terms. There's one term, sorry, and two factors. So either x minus 4 or x plus 6 can cancel. That x can't cancel. That 6 can't cancel alone. That x can't cancel alone. That 4 can't cancel alone. But x minus 4 can cancel. x plus 6 can cancel if it has something to cancel into. Below one term. But two factors, x and x minus 4. So in fact, the x minus 4s can cancel. And don't forget we have the negative, so we're left with negative of x plus 6 over 6x. Do not cancel those x's. The problem is on the top line because there are two terms. This x is dividing into both terms. If you cancel those x's, then you've just treated this division into x alone and forget about the 6 being divided by it. G. There's a 2 minus x above. It doesn't matter about that. It, because we're not using it for the denominator, we're not trying to cancel. Find, we're not trying to uh, factorize it at all. Bottom line, though, we have a common factor of 6 which can come out. And we'll leave that as is. But notice now we could cancel that 3 into the 6. But in fact, there's a 6 there, so it would be a waste of time because we're going to end up with 6 in our LCD anyway. So let's leave it as that. These factors are 6 and x plus 1. Then there's a 6 and an x. So if we look at the numbers, the common denominator must have a 6 in it, must have that x factor, and it must have the x plus 1 factor. 6x, x plus 1. 6x, x plus 1, and we don't have to worry about that because this is catering for that 6. Now don't forget once again, negative there, so I'm going to put brackets there just in case because that negative changes signs. So common denominator, 6x, x plus 1. That 3 was over 6x plus 1. Now that 3 is over 6x, x plus 1. It's gained an x, so we need to put an x on top. This 2 minus x was over 6x. Now it's over 6x, x plus 1. So it's actually gained a whole x plus 1. So the top must gain the same x plus 1. Now we multiply out. Notice I've kept the brackets because this is going to change signs within. But we multiply out first and then we can change signs on the next line. Multiplying out. Change sign, change sign, change sign. Notice the sign changes. Simplifying. We've added the like terms of 3x and negative x to get 2x. And that is our final answer there.